Hello and welcome back to the channel for another College TF review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Hasbro Transformers the Movie Autobot Ratchet Core Class figure. You can get yours over at All Time Toy Store. Check out the link, link in the description below. And also be sure to check out their eBay store for more awesome Transformers and action figure toys. So this is another, I think, fantastic entry into the Core Class line from Hasbro. This is a big improvement over um, the uh, hot rod that they released, and it's much more comparable to the quality of Optimus and um, Starscream and Megatron along those lines. So let's get straight into the review. So I had Ratchet off to the side, and he does come with this display, albeit peppered with uh, the uh, holes that for the straps that hold him in and the packaging. Um, the packaging itself isn't really worth showing off, as it's just your know, typical cardboard box that opens the front. Here is um, his instructions, pretty straightforward. Um, although I do like his level of complexity for a core class, it's, it's a very well-engineered figure, for sure. So, instructions, yay. And the figure, the main deal. So he's definitely very good looking. I really like the way they got his chest all cleaned up without the bumper and everything. His transformation actually, to me, is very reminiscent of that of um, Optimus Prime. A core class figure and the whole the way the chest rotates around and um, just a, a lot of the general transformation aspects are very similar to that of the more recent Optimus Prime figures. So definitely a very nicely painted figure, not too much any paint apps, but sufficient for Ratchet. We have the nice blue um, on the windshield there, the red logos on the shoulder which turned out very clean, very nice, very nice head sculpt there, the gray visor and silver face and the blue eyes are even picked out so very well done nice red waist there and that about does it for paint apps um, in robot mode and as you can see he cleans up very nicely in back there very smooth figure i'd say the worst part of the figure is the legs they are a bit chunky and he does come with two blaster accessories these have been painted and sculpted very nicely. Nice silver paint. Given that the figure himself doesn't use that much paint, they could spare some for the accessories, which is nice. And these two are just mirror images of each other um, for vehicle mode attachment, which we'll get into later. So in terms of articulation, Ratchet does have a swivel at the head, allows him to look left and right. He can, actually it is a ball joint. It might be a ball joint. Uh, it's a loose enough joint that it can uh, move up and down ever so slightly. That might largely just be the transformation joint there, but full 360 rotation there. And then we do get, um, due to transformation, a backwards butterfly if you wanted to use it. The shoulder, ball joint, so full 360 rotation. We can kick, move out all the way to 90 there. Then we do have the full bicep swivel as well. 90, past 90 degree elbow bend, which is pretty good. Nothing at the wrist, so he is pretty tiny then you can kind of get a waist rotation out of him. If you really want to use it, you just kind of lift up this back panel a little bit, and then you do have a full waist rotation unhindered. Um, but otherwise, this tab kind of does lock it in place, and you do want to make sure you don't scuff the nice silver paint application on the bumper there. So you can have a waist rotation if you wanted. Um, same thing with it. Ab you could almost get the ab crunch if you wanted to. Um, Sort of works, not really. You know, you kind of risk rubbing off this red paint, so I would not recommend trying to exploit that transformation joint. So you can kick forward that far, backwards to the same degree, just about. And then we do get under 90 at the knee, but given how tiny this figure is, it's not much of a problem. And Ratchet wasn't a particular agile figure. He's, ma he's mainly the medic, of course, so. You'll largely just pose him standing, I would imagine, with maybe a few action poses or him getting blown up. So there is the, uh, for articulation. It's a pretty well articulated figure, for sure. For some comparisons, here is Core Class Optimus Prime. I think they scale pretty well with each other. Uh, in my opinion, Ratch is a little big, but that's fine. And here he is with Core Class Starscream, again, Scales pretty well, he is just ever so slightly smaller, shorter than uh, these figures. Definitely on the bulky side with his chest, but still, 
Very nice, fits in the collection. Great, I love these figures. Again, he's made from nice durable plastic too, very playable and pretty hefty. I mean, in terms of weight, he is heavier than Optimus by a lot, probably due to all that hollowing on the back of Optimus. And he's about, he's about the same as Starscream. Starscream's a little heavier. So for transformation, it's pretty straightforward, but still very enjoyable. So you want to start by flipping forward the chest unit, then just tuck his head into the cavity, then bring the chest back up. Now I will mention that his head is slightly hollowed in back, not as bad as what was on Hot Rod, but it is there. Um, but because of this piece, it does help hide it in robot mode. Then we just want to flip up the roof there, and that reveals the nice red flashers. And we'll rotate the arms up like this. And then we want to rotate at the bicep inwards as we do have a slot on this side and a tab on the other side that will line up. And then make sure the arms are all the way up and just bring them in like this. And they'll tuck in. And then we just want to tab the arms together there. That should look something like that. Then just rotate here at the waist. Now we have the front forward, not like the, this whole section here, I think is very reminiscent of Prime, the way the arms kind of tuck up. I'm on Optimus, of course, they usually come down, um, but since uh, Ratchet's a van, they can have more space. And then of course that rotation there at the upper body, I think is very reminiscent of Optimus transformations. Then we want to bring the whole hip up like that, and then rotate here so we can bring that door, that whole side down. I'll just rotate all the way up. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. I want to hinge this out. Just rotate that up. Whoops. Don't drop a figure. That's not part of the plan. And then just bring these halves together. And there are a few tabs. So you want to make sure that everything overlaps as it is supposed to here. So we have a little tab there, tab here, a slot there, tab there. And I'll just lines up and then there's also a big tab and a slot on the bottom there so just tab it all together which is pretty secure and then for finishing touches just want to fold out these panels and tuck them into the front and there is a little tab on the inside there that lines up that just snaps in place like that squeeze them get everything situated and here's Ratchet, all transformed into his rescue van, ambulance thing. I think it looks perfect. Looks just like um, the original G1 design with a little bit of extra stylization added, as is the case with the War for Cybertron legacy lines. But he cleans up very nicely. I mean, he's very compact, very dense, very little hollowing on this figure due to the nature of the transformation, which is great. Yeah, I think he looks looks really good. Now, paint applications in this mode are a bit more limited. We just have the nice silver bumper and then the windshields and the flashers. Unfortunately, none of the tail lights are picked out, but not a huge deal breaker for sure. And I would have liked to see these windows maybe picked out in the same color as this, but I think that would have made it look a little funny in robot mode. So. Definitely pleased with this figure. Nice windshield wiper detailing there. That's a nice sculpt work. But overall, very clean design. For weapon storage, in this mode, you can tab in the guns. So there are these little tabs on each side and the guns are mirrored. So you can just tab them in if you so desire. An armored medic coming to the rescue. So weapon storage, which is nice to see, I believe you can also port them in, not quite. I'm not really sure what that hole is for. Honestly, it doesn't really hold the guns. So for some vehicle mode size comparisons, there is core class hot rod. And I think they scale pretty well together. Hot rod, of course, is a little bit big for a hot rod. It could be more like a rod ish scale, but they look nice. And here is core class Megatron. Megatron definitely a bit bigger. So there's for your size comparisons. And I think overall, yeah, this this 
core class line is looking pretty good. I've liked all the figures thus far. I would say the weakest entry is definitely Hot Rod here um, due to all the hollowing on the back of his head and a little bit of a flimsy overall robot mode, but I still like him a lot and I really do think they're doing a great job with these core class figures, bringing you know, G1 inspired designs to the main line in um, smaller and more affordable forms. So definitely I would recommend picking up these the figures if you have it and Ratchet's a great addition. Be sure to check out uh, the links in the description for uh, to buy yours over at All Time Toy Store and stay tuned for the next video. See ya!